Hello, this is Allison Church. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Today I thought I'd talk about the one thing that has affected everybody who is trans. Basically how people treat you after you come out. Now, having some time to think about this, I used to ponder and torture myself a lot when I was younger because I would say, I'm a decent person. Why are people treating me so cruelly? Back then, I was trans, but I didn't have the courage yet to come out. Instead, I was fat, didn't play sports at all, and I was poor. So all the rich uh, sports jock kids who are all poly perfect and Jim Thorpe all American made my life a living hell. The only time I became popular is right around finals time. And then I got beat up because I wouldn't do their work for them. Well, I found out later in life, namely about three years ago when I came out, why life had treated me so bad. It was to prepare me for the shitstorm that would happen when friends that you that I've known for years would suddenly ghost me, or worse, co-workers that I worked with would treat me like crap and do everything at the drop of a hat to get me in trouble. I think the year that I came out, I was on the carpet in front of my boss's desk more times than I had ever been in the entire 15 years of working there. In fact, the only time I was in front of the carpet is when and after I came out. People, or I should say normals, do not understand what gender dysphoria is. They don't understand beyond the basic Webster's Dictionary definition of what dysphoria is. I do. And I want to let you know that the feelings you have, the agony that you're going through baby transes, is normal. It's not right, but it's normal. What you can endure will make you stronger. Just have faith in your ultimate go. The light at the end of the tunnel. The miracle that awaits you when you finally are gender euphoric. It's a long road. And it's filled with a lot of heartache. But you can do it. You're strong. You live a life that is not only uniquely diversified, but you live a life that is better than this homogenized um, Ozzy Harriet slash esque workaday reality that everyone else takes as the normal. In a world of homogenized morality, you have the unique courage to stand up and be separate. I applaud you for your courage. And I love you for your choice. This is Allison Church and this has been Allison Through the Looking Glass. Please be kind, be tolerant, but above all my dear, dear friends, be happy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.